Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to take this FLAC file and we're going to put it into our iTunes because iTunes does not support FLAC files, so we need to fix that. Okay, so first thing you want to do is you want to get a program called, oh, there's two I have, a Miro Video Converter or XACT or XACT, whatever you want to call it. Now, both of these are free, and I shall show you both of them. Now, Miro Video Converter is something I use often. It's because you can make videos in the title, obviously. You can um, convert videos, but you can also um, do MP3 at the bottom, which is audio only, obviously. So, drop your file into this box, and then choose MP3, and then go hit Convert. It'll work its way through this. Okay, um, now that's made it into an MP3, and Mirror Video Converter is really good. Um, but it has one drawback. You can't batch convert stuff. That's why I have XACT. Because I just I use this just for um, music. I actually haven't tried video, but I don't know. Um, so what you want to do is it'll start off at about. Click on decode and either go add and pick your files, or just drop it into the list. Select um, wave or wav whatever you want to call it, um, and um, decode through errors if you're going to have, if you have some dodgy files and some non-dodgy files, because you might want to see which ones don't work, and then just go to decode to source directory and hit decode. And a box will come up, It'll it does two at a time on my computer, I think that's because I've got dual core, so if you have a quad core it'll probably do four, but um, yeah, and that makes a dot file. So, what's the difference between MP3 and WAVE? Well, um, I found out that in iTunes, if we go down to the bottom because that's where it'll be, we drag in the WAVE, and we drag in, um, okay, so, I'll just go Command I. So this is where you'd fill in all the information. I'll just tell this one, to make sure I know which one's the MP3 one. Um, so you fill in all your information. Actually, yeah. See, um, now here where you drop on the um, album artwork, because uh, and if you don't want album artwork, that's fine. You can stop here. But if you do, see, this is on the MP3. I have the option to drag album artwork here, which basically just drag the picture, drop it on there sticks. But for this um, wave file, it comes up with artwork not modifiable. So to fix that, we go right click, uh, create AAC version. And it'll make one. And it's done. Now I have the option to drag artwork here. And we'll just delete the wave file. We'll go to move to trash. Now we can, now we have a FLAC file, or what was a FLAC file in our iTunes. Enjoy it.